Good morning, beautiful souls. It is Tuesday, December 2nd, and I apologize for not being here yesterday. Um, it was very hectic getting my daughter back into her first day of school and catching up from everything I couldn't do last week, and I've got a bunch of readings right now, so sorry I missed you. I might have to start recording my daily oracle messages the night before like I used to, but I want to ask you, how was your Saturday? How was your new moon with the solar eclipse? Okay, because for me, it was an extremely challenging day. Um, I was completely burnt out, worn out. The life sucked out of me <laughs> from being with my three toddlers every second of the day for like six or seven days straight. I don't have family or friends around here. My husband works a lot, so when everybody's home, it's all me. And um, my four-year-old requires a lot of one-on-one -on -one attention. So by Saturday, I just was completely starting to raise my voice and yell and just getting really irritable and frustrated. And I really needed a mental health break. And so when my husband got home, I completely... Um, went and locked myself in my bedroom. I really should have been cleaning or getting some work done, but I was like, nope, I need to do nothing. I got to chill out. So um, I have a customer who ordered a North Node reading, and I have done at least a dozen, if not more, no North Node readings. But there was something unique about hers, okay? Her North Node was at zero degrees Aries. First of all, I've never seen a North Node on the zero, like right in between two signs is what it looked like. I had to have it like listed out for me to actually tell that it was zero degrees in Aries. So I, I start researching it. And as soon as I do, all this information pops up about draconic birth charts. And I literally like self-taught myself how to read um, draconic birth charts on the rest of the day Saturday. But not only was I already emotional and depressed, see your natal birth chart is pretty much your blueprint for this incarnation on earth, okay? And your draconic birth chart is your soul's blueprint. So this was super exciting for me. I, I can't believe I'd never found it before. I was just so excited. So I was looking up all of my different aspects on my draconic chart and then all kinds of inner childhood trauma, um, oh man, a lot of stuff that I thought I healed that was coming back up that apparently needs more healing. And um, so I was just crying and crying and crying on Saturday. That, that was my energy. Um, just literally having like a emotional, spiritual, mental crisis. <laughs> but um, Sunday was much better, much, much better. And yesterday, and it was just me and my twins, which is much easier. Two is so much easier than three. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. But, um, so I'm back at it today. And I wanted to give a shout out real quick to Kristen Coleman. She is a fairly new customer of mine for about the last four or five weeks. And um, is quite addicted to my tarot readings, which is awesome. And um, she's been a regular customer since she found me on TikTok about a month ago. And um, she told me that she was gonna, she had ordered a Christmas gift for my kids. And <laughs> first of all, just the thought of that was really, really sweet. Um, I don't have very many friends, I'm not around my family. And um, so to receive a Christmas gift from a customer of mine really touched my heart. And that's why you guys are my spiritual family. I mean that. Um, I have made close connections with quite a few of my customers, um, really on a soul level. And that's the thing with Kristen, it was her North Node reading that um, opened up this whole new world to me. And I realized that I'm not only here to help her heal, she's also in my life to help me heal. So it's really poetic actually. But so I get this package from Kristen and wow, wow. Not only was it some really great stuff for my kids, but she had gotten me this amazing oracle deck that I've never heard of before, and I'm actually quite obsessed with it now, called the Star Code 
Astro Oracle. The images are absolutely gorgeous. Like I want to tattoo of these and they're, the, message, bleh, the messages are extremely profound and insightful. And then this morning I wake up to another package of a tarot deck. And Kristen, if you are listening to this, I appreciate you. I'm so grateful for you. Um, you did not have to do that. I was not expecting that, but it made my heart feel really good. It made me feel special. So I just wanted to share that with everybody today. Okay, let's see. Today we have number 39, choice. Somewhere along the way, you have given up your right to decide. This can happen for many reasons. You may have quit making choices under the pretext of being agreeable or putting someone else's needs before your own. It may be that decision making is too overwhelming right now. You have so many options. Each choice you make can take you closer or further from your desires. So it is imperative that you start exercising your power of choice. If you feel confused about a decision, evaluate what is going on. Come up with a list of possible outcomes. Make your list as long and elaborate as you need. Ask yourself, what is blocking your ability to decide? Are you trying to please someone else? Are you afraid of making a wrong choice? Choosing not to decide is a choice. Decide to make healthy choices that meet your needs and desires. A fairy blows iridescent bubbles filled with possibilities. Bubbles represent hope, wishes, dreams, and the array of choices you have in front of you. Bubbles may also indicate a need to raise awareness. So there are extraordinary moments of magic appearing around for you. The bubbles also represent happiness, amusement, and the innocence of childhood. The castle in one bubble represents your home or feelings of safety and security. The Pegasus is a symbol for rising above difficulties. The Pegasus is a guardian. Its appearance here is an acknowledgement that you are supported in your resolve. Once you begin to make choices for yourself, it will become easier and easier to choose what you love. I absolutely love that. And I was just telling you guys last week how personally I was being faced with so many options. And um, it is hard to pick and choose sometimes, right? But what I'm really seeing for you today is that this new moon and solar eclipse has started new beginnings for you, um, multiple new beginnings, okay? And you are being given multiple doors um, and it's up to you which one that you want to open, okay? And it really can be difficult to make that decision, that choice, especially if it's an overwhelming choice. But I want to tell you today that there is no wrong choice, okay? Unless you're choosing the door or not choosing a door out of fear. Other than that, there is no wrong choice as long as you're following your heart and your soul's desire, okay? So this is really important for you to know today that you are being faced with the choice. Oh, what the heck? Has it been like that the whole time? Ugh. Tell me in the comments, um, what choices are you being presented with? Okay, it could be relationships, jobs, um, even how to spend your, your alone time. Um, so many things are coming into your life right now and it can be almost nerve wracking because this brings change and the choice that you make could bring powerful change into your life. But you can't fear the unknown to the point where you're not feeling brave enough to step into it. Okay, the unknown is scary for all of us, but that's when you need to gather that inner strength and courage and um, go busting through that door, right? Okay, guys, so I hope that you have a super awesome rest of your day. I have some exciting stuff coming out today, a, a deal on gift cards, um, $25 for $30 worth in tarot readings, mediumship readings, rune readings, astrology readings, you name it. I'm also going to be offering draconic birth chart readings now, which is, like I said, your soul's blueprint. So that's exciting. Right now, I just have North Node and Chiron, and I'm also adding a Midheaven and IC reading. The Midheaven is how uh, the world sees you. It is your public image, okay? It's not how you see yourself in the public eye, but it's how the public sees you. 
So um, that's always really good to know about ourselves, right? How, how the world sees us. All right, so I hope you all have a super awesome rest of your day. Um, we're at the start of a brand new cycle, so it's time to take action. It is go, go, go. Um, I personally didn't get to write down or burn my intentions this month. I just had so much in my brain, um, but I am, st I'm gonna, I thought about them and I still plan to write them down today. Um, I feel like last night was kind of like the end of making intentions, but it's really never too late, okay? Of course, the energy is more powerful around the new moon, but it's never too late to intend to do or bring something into your life. All right, I feel like that there was something else that I wanted to say. Um, I cannot think of it. But if you are being presented with um, some inner childhood wounds right now, or you're healing some trauma that has come to the surface with this solar eclipse, I want you to know that I am here for you. I do offer an inner childhood tarot spread reading. I have two of them, I think, two different ones. And then um, you can always message me um, in any question regards to how to begin your self-love journey and healing the trauma in your life because it is time to leave the past behind us all right draw a line under the past and be excited to move into this golden future that is presenting itself with all these opportunities all right and i don't want you guys to be too afraid to um take hold of these opportunities with two hands because sometimes we don't make the choice because we don't feel worthy of it. Um, we feel like um, we're not good enough for it or something. And I made the connection last night in a reading that I did um, that, for example, I grew up in apartments for my entire life. I was 28 years old when I met my husband and we got a house together. Now, I felt so out of my element. I felt like I was not worthy of living in a house and it was the strangest feeling. I felt like when I checked the mail, all my neighbors were looking at me and they could see right through me and they were thinking, oh, she, you know, she belongs in an apartment. And it was a really weird feeling that I didn't feel worthy of having a house or driving his nice vehicle. And it did take me a couple of years to adjust to that, to open myself up to loving myself and saying, you know, you do deserve this. You are worthy of this, like own it. So that's what I'm asking you to do today. All right, I hope you all have a super awesome rest of your Tuesday. Love, light, and blessings. Let me know in the comments how this weekend's energy was for you. Bye.